Hello, today I'm going to share with you this beautiful oatmeal cookie bars recipe. The cookie bars are fudgy, sticky, sweet, yummy and filling. Just right. It's a healthier dessert you'll enjoy. So we're going to start by getting a large bowl and I'm going to add in three medium bananas, peel them of course, and we're going to mash them with a fork. Take your time to do it quite well. This is going to be about three fourths of a cup of mashed banana in total so you can measure that up. Then I'm I'm going to break in two medium eggs uh, so they can be even on a smaller side don't worry about that once they're in I'm going to add in one teaspoon of vanilla extract now I'm going to take about seven ounces of lightly salted butter and I'm going to basically cut it up a little bit and I'm going to add it to a bowl I'm then popping this bowl into microwave and just mixing all of it together you don't want to overheat it so you'll just mix it and the butter will be melted the important thing is not to overheat it otherwise it will explode in your microwave now I'm going to pour in my melted butter into the bowl next we're going to add around one fourth of a cup of honey and I'm adding one half of a teaspoon of cinnamon and one fourth of a teaspoon of baking soda and now we want to mix all of these ingredients together take your time combine them well because it's quite a few of them as you can see this is pretty easy we're doing everything in one bowl so this is pretty much mess free now for the next step I'm going to add in two cups of rolled oats and I'm going to start mixing all of the ingredients together then we're going to add in another two cups of rolled oats and combine all the ingredients as well as we can so it's four cups of rolled oats in total for the final step I'm mixing in half a cup of chocolate chips try to use dark chocolate chips I'm using milk chocolate chips here because I ran out of dark ones Either way, the dark ones will work better here. I'm now going to transfer the dough into my baking sheet. We first want to get our 8x8 eight eight inches baking sheet and cover it with baking paper, leaving a few inches of paper on the side so we can easily pull the cookie bars out. Pour in your dough, level it out as well as you can. And at the very end, I'm actually going to press in a few chocolate chips on top of the dough just to make sure sure that we have beautifully cooked oatmeal bars. We're going to bake this in the oven at 350 Fahrenheit degrees for 30 minutes until edges are a little bit golden so you'll see the golden edges and you'll know it's ready once I pop this out I'm actually going to let it sit in the baking sheet for 30 minutes it's important to let them cool down otherwise our cookie bars will fall apart and only after it cooled down we're going to pull out the cookie bars by the edges and I'm going to put it on my cutting board and cut them up into a total of 16 pieces so four by four and once that's done the red these are sweet yummy this is a healthier dessert you can give to your kids perfect for breakfast perfect for dessert delicious yummy sticky just the perfect texture for more recipes go to allnutritious.com like and subscribe bye bye